Well, hello and welcome to the Tuesday edition of DC Today. I um, picked a good day to have this be my last DC Today for the day, for the week rather. Uh, Brian Seitel will fill in for me tomorrow, Wednesday, as I am off to Dallas. And actually, you know what, I think I am doing it Thursday back in California, so I take that back. Um, but I will be uh, in Dallas tomorrow, Wednesday, and then back uh, to California from Dallas Thursday. Uh, doing DC Today and then doing uh, Div Cafe on Friday. And yet the reason I say today being uh, a good day is the CPI report came out um, early this morning before the market opened and uh, it gave the bond market the excuse to rally uh, that many feared the opposite could happen. And so it wasn't just merely that um, headline inflation came in at 0% month over month, uh, the CPI and, uh, both in core and headline uh, moved uh, less than expected, uh, both the month over month data, but also what that meant for the year over year. And um, there was also a little building anxiety that not only would it not be better than expected, but it could be worse than expected. And so you did have, a, I think, a fair amount of today's equity market rally representing short covering, where shorts had come on saying, what if the core number comes in at 0.4% instead of 0.3 expected? And so they put some short positions on in anticipation of that. It didn't happen. And in fact, it came in at 0.2 instead of 0.3 expected. And then that caused bond yields to drop nearly 20 basis points from the two year all the way up to the 10 year on the yield curve. And that just resulted in a huge bond rally that turned into a huge equity rally. And some of it must have been shorts getting their faces ripped off as we are prone to say in my business. Um, Every sector was up on the day. Energy was the worst performing sector. It was only up 0.54%. But listen to this. The real estate sector, publicly traded REITs and things, were up 5.3% on the day. And so it's obviously been a beleaguered sector with higher interest rates for the year. But to see, the, that's why I think there had to have been short exposures that had built up that caused that kind of rally. Uh, so yeah, the 10-year Treasury is now down, down a full five basis points below four and a half. And it was just a few minutes ago, it feels like, that we were at the 5% mark. And now we're at 4.45%. So a massive move higher in bonds. The Dow was up 500 points, 1.5%. The S&P was up just shy of 2%. The NASDAQ was up over 2.3%. Within the CPI, um, it really was basically uh, about as benign as it can get. I mean, more or less, the disinflation that we've been talking about for over a year continues. Uh, yeah, look, headline inflation is cheating a little to say 0% month over month because you had gas prices down quite a bit. But um, well, even when you strip out food and energy, core prices were up less than expected. And the... Um, Contribution from shelter, I want to get this right, rent growth came in at 6.8% year over year. If you believe that, I'll tell you another one. The rent of primary residence came at 7.2. Those two together formulating 34% of the shelter weighting. So you're getting roughly about a 7% um, of 34%, right, uh, in the CPI. That equates to an attribution of 1.35% of the CPI. So if you were coming in at a headline level of three plus change and core was coming in at four, exactly four on the nose, that means that headline inflation, if, it, if you were assuming 3% shelter, which I think is high, but even if you assume three, you're really at about a 1.85% year over year headline inflation, and you're at about a 2.6% year over year core inflation. So that's why the bond market rallied, and that is why equity markets rallied with it, okay? Pretty simple day. Uh, oil was flat on the day. Um, every sector up, we went through the indexes. I strongly recommend you read the Ask David in DC today. Uh, producer prices will come out tomorrow. President Biden will meet with President Xi tomorrow. Um, never a dull moment. Thanks for listening, thanks for reading, and thanks for watching the DC Today. Mm -hmm.